Is it still a good time to buy a condo in Toronto in 2021? A lot of people come and ask me, Yossi, should I still buy a condo in 2021? Has the price, is it too high? Is it good? Did the price go down? Let, let's take five minutes and look at this. Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor, YossiKaplan.com and other sites. I sell condos, I sell homes, I sell businesses. Okay, I'm very involved in the market and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this day in, day out. So quick overview. The first thing I want to do is go to uh, condos.ca here. Okay, that's the site, and that side that gives you very good uh, uh, stats here. Right now, Condos.ca reports $923 per square foot average for the past 14 days, and it's slightly uptick from year over year. Now, if you look at the full market report, and you need to be logged in for that, which I am at the moment, um, you can see here that the actual um, price right now, it's calculating 916, and that discrepancy is because how the number is calculated, I assume, and the gray bars here, will tell you the volume. So you can see that um, around July, a lot of units came on the market, okay? And then the supply just dwindles down and down and down. And here the supply goes up a bit and the price. Now, why is that? Because people realize we're gonna get out of this situation. We're gonna come back to work. Uh, working from home is not a viable solution for long-term, especially not for large corporations, companies that people just need to be together to work with each other. Um, you know, whatever the problem is, we're going to solve it. We've got a lot of smart people on this planet. I'm not worried about that. And the prices keep going up. As a matter of fact, last year was $895 a foot for February and $893, about the same for March. And that was the highest uh, average on record. And look what happens here. We almost matched it uh, in February and March is just blowing all these things out of the water. And the amount of calls I get and the amount of people are buying and selling right now is unbelievable. Now, there's more buyers and sellers, and that's pushing the price up. And as you can see, the amount of units is not that high. So even for condos, there's more buyers than units available. If you go to the TREB, and you, you can see right here, that's the TREB uh, market stats, historic. You can see that 2021 is blowing out of the water all the years previously, and it just keeps going up, okay? Um, you can also go to the, the little nice animation they give you here and see all the numbers, but you can see a lot more transactions and the price is this average average GTA for 16905. The prices are pushing up. Now, condos came down a little bit if I saw the last report, uh, which is really good. It gives you an opportunity for the resale to get in the market. Nonetheless, the new construction, and if you want to find what's new construction, go to torontocondos.sale, torontocondosforsale.com, which is my site from the main page which starts with the listings okay go to the menu uh, go to pre-construction go to pre-con list and here you can see what's available on the market right now this is updated by the company so it's always updated and you can see here what's going on and you can just go into any of these request some more information and and they'll get to me and, and i'll respond to you okay now, a lot of these, th th there's some nice, nice projects coming right now. Um, the one that caught my eye is the 1200, 1200 Dundas. So that's Dundas and Ossington. You know, I like the, I like the boutique buildings. Uh, where is it? It's on YouTube, by the way. It's, it's free access. Uh, so here we are. Okay, so it's a, it's a nice 12-story building, 115 units. Um, I don't have the prices for it yet. I'm, I'm sure they're not going to be cheap. I don't think if you find anything in twelve hundred dollars a foot, it's kind of it's kind of a steal. Um, but you can expect thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred for the good quality buildings. And and and, and there's there's a video that explains the whole thing here and how the market is, what it's doing. And obviously, the Queen West does not have a lot of condos, so it, it shows you. I'm not going to go through all that. If if you want, you can watch it. But it basically shows you there's very little for sale. And I agree. There's very little for sale in the Trinity Bellwoods because it's just a lot of homes and not so many condos. So not a lot of units coming on the market. So if you are to buy a pre-construction or if you buy to buy any condo these days, I think it's really important to look at um, both the resale market and the pre-construction and obviously the assignments coming in between. And then look at who your neighbors are. If you're in a very busy, heavy condo area, you got to look at what the transactions are and how quick it is to be on the market and get out of the market at the same time, um, what would be if you looked at another area where maybe it's less condo dense, okay? So that's very good. Um, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, give me a shout. Yossi Kaplan, thank you very much. And now I will just try to find how I turn this off. <laughs>